Good afternoon. I am Eckerhardt. I call myself the German butcher. I used to be butcher in Germany for about 11 years, and I'm a home sausage maker almost all my American life. That means over 50 years. Today I want to talk about liver sausage. I have some liver sausage out here. One is about more than a year old. I found it in the freezer. Then I have one that was just two, three months old, and one about six months old. Now I want to explain the liver sausage a little bit. They all three have about 30% liver in it, and to me, not enough fat, obviously too much lean meat in it. If you look here, it looks, where can you see it there, it looks very nice, but it's not enough fat in it. That's the way it looks, it spreads nice and everything, everything is okay, tastes good. I only like to have a little more fat in it. The next one is this one here. Actually, that is a goose liver, goose liver sausage, I should say. There I have some of the, I cooked some, uh, what do you call that, the legs from a goose, and it was so hard I couldn't eat it. So I put some liver in it, some, lead, some pork fat in it, and made sausage out of it. Maybe that's why it looks a little different, but it still tastes good. Now we come to the third one. That's about a half a year old. It's the same thing. And basically I have a liver sausage spice from Germany. And I added it, put it in, and most of the time I put more uh, myron in it. And a little time. And it comes out very good all the time. Now I want to talk a little bit about the process. This one most likely was through a meat grinder and in the buffalo cutter. Same as this. When I had more, I always used the buffalo cutter. The, the liver, the, the goose liver sausage, I did not use a meat grinder. I just put it in the ninja. It works too, but really not that good because when you eat it, all of a sudden you get bigger pieces in your mouth because if they're a little tenser or a harder piece, it doesn't cut that good. So when I want to make sausage and want to do a little more and want to have a good one, I always grind it through a meat grinder and then in a ninja or in the buffalo cutter. In the near future I want to duplicate a liver sausage like we used to make like 60 years ago in Germany. I hope I'm successful. I just made a little tasting test. I took from each one a little bit and ate it and see if I could tell the difference. Because I used the same spices, I could not tell which one is what. Only the one in the jar here that was a little more solid. See, if you don't have enough fat, you always can add a little bit younger that makes it more, more liquid too, or more loose too. I had it sometimes they were so solid you couldn't spread it, you slice it. That's not a liver sausage to me. So I took it apart again, add some bouillon and then, then it was better. But again, they're almost identical in the flavor. If you close your eyes, by the flavor you couldn't tell which is what. They're all very good. That is the end of my movie today. I hope you like it. Subscribe and share with your friends.